Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to try out the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protector for the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. And uh, one thing I want to add really quick is that if the audio for this video sounds a little bit weird, I apologize, it's because I'm testing out a new mic. I'm still, you know, I'm new to this videography thing. I'm trying to improve my production, but you know, it's a learning process. So apologies if the sound is like really weird. So Whitestone Dome, I covered them in the past. The reason they stand out from other tempered glass screen protectors is because most tempered glass screen protectors cannot fully cover a curved screen device. Now, this was fine three, four, five years ago when all phones were flat. So you can just really buy any tempered glass screen protector off the street at any store for like five bucks, three bucks, it'll work. But now, ever since Samsung made the curved screen phones popular, it became very tough to get a tempered glass screen protector for curved screen phones. So most of the ones you see on the market, like on Amazon, you'll see it for like maybe like eight bucks. So those don't really work well because the glass goes over the phone, but the adhesive is really only on the edge of the screen. There's no adhesive in the middle. So that means when you have the screen protector on, you realize that you lose a little bit of touch sensitivity. Not to mention there's like that, those little dots in the middle, they're, they're called dot matrix. The technology behind is a little bit funky, but it's just not a good look. So Whitestone Dome came out with the solution to use this kind of wet adhesive, liquid adhesive to stick the glass on and then use a UV ray light lamp to dry it really quick, I guess. Now this technology has already, has already been copied by some third party companies because I know in Hong Kong, I can get similar technology screen protectors, but I have to give Whitestone Dome credit. They created this first. This is a Korean company. It makes sense for Koreans to come up with this because they made the curved screen phones. Okay, so I've added a white sheet of paper on top of the table just to help out my viewers because I know some of you guys have said that this tablecloth is very distracting, like watching videos on this <laughs> made you dizzy or something. So first thing I'm gonna do is wipe down the phone a little bit. This is important. You gotta make sure your phone doesn't have dust and any of that stuff on it before we put the glass on. I'll wipe it down a little bit more later. So you put this phone down onto the tray. Okay, and then this part's kind of important. You have to put adhesive stickers over the um, earpiece holes because you don't want adhesive to get into, get into the earpiece basically. So you just cover it up like this. And then you put, wipe down the phone a little bit more again. Okay, so now that the phone is secure, you're gonna use a sticker and just stick around to basically pull out any more dust or lint or hair. And just wipe it down with a cloth a little bit more just to be safe. So next up, you put this little tray over the screen like this. So now what you do is then you unscrew the adhesive. You unscrew the color part first. And you screw it into this part like this. And then just because I'm paranoid, I'm gonna wipe it down once more. And then you unscrew the top to let the adhesive fall. And the adhesive is just supposed to sit into the middle like this. Um, my table is probably a little bit slanted. That's why it's kind of slipping. So I'm just gonna prop it up a little bit like this. It's supposed to stay in the middle like this. And then now you take out this tray. So you peel off the screen protector. Shit, you see, I see a little bit of dust right there. So luckily I spotted this, now I can fix it. Yeah, so I think now it's clear. You put the screen protector on like this and then you let it down. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to pull this tap. As soon as you pull this tap, the screen protector will then fall into the adhesive and spread. So you pull. Now it's falling and then you just gotta let it spread. And you also gotta tilt it downwards by pressing down to let the adhesive spread over. This part is really tricky. And if you mess this part up, then you just have to kinda take it off wash it, let it dry, and then redo it. So this part is crucial. So right now I see a bubble right here and I'm really concerned that this bubble, it's not gonna go away. See, the adhesive is not quite 
falling down to the bottom like I'm hoping to. I, I wonder if I made a mistake. But this part is tricky. So I'm just, see, this part is not falling down. I'm just hoping it does get down there. If not, then I'm going to need to kind of glide it, guide it with my finger a little bit. Okay, I think this part's closing. I'm hoping it is. It's going really slow though. Okay, it's not, you see? So this is like a little dead spot that you just have to take care of. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but it might involve me taking it, use it just using my finger and press it. Nope, it does not work. So it's not, what I gotta do is I gotta take it out and just, yeah, I think I need, need a sticker. So use a sticker to lift up the screen protector. Okay, so this is about as good as I can get it. It's still not flawless. I see a little bit of bubble, but I think it is what it is at this point. So now you put the lamp over to dry. This is the UV light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a portable battery to power the UV light, but you can also just plug it into any power brick. So now you hit the light. Now you see the UV light is in action. This looks pretty hardcore, right? Okay, and then you move it down a little bit. For how long? 15 seconds each? Oh yeah, and I've had uh, viewers ask me what happens when you want to remove the glass. I can save that. Removing the glass is safe. It won't damage the phone's display. Okay, this probably is good enough. So now what you want to do is take out the phone and just wipe it down a little bit. So this is not a perfect installation there's a slight bubble right here i don't know yeah right there you can see right there so i messed up right here but that's okay this this is not gonna drive me crazy it's a little bit annoying but it's not gonna drive me crazy the rest of the screen protector looks good guys so i've wiped down the phone and i've re-registered my fingerprint and now everything works fine you do have to press slightly harder than you would usually but the fingerprint sensor works completely and uh i'm not losing any touch sensitivity typing on this it's as if i don't have anything on it at all yeah and as you can see overall it's a very clean screen protector it covers the entire edge of the phone so even looking at it right now I mean, just from the camera, you almost can't see that there's a screen protector on top of it. You see this subtle edge right here, but that's it. You can't see much of the edge right here. It actually goes pretty far down into the curve. So this is almost like 100% screen protection. And again, the only part that got messed up is my fault probably, which is uh, this little bubble right here. Yeah, so that's it. This is the Whitestone Dome Tempered Glass Screen Protector. As you can see here, it's on sale on Amazon for 50 bucks. I know some people are gonna say 50 bucks for a screen protector is expensive, but it really depends on who you are, man. If you wanna protect your phone, 50 bucks is a worthy investment. And you have to give credit because they created this technology, Whitestone Dome, I mean. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.